Hello folks, what's going on? Good morning from Taka Bangladesh. It's 8 a.m. here and I'm planning to do three reviews for you. It's gonna be small, like a small episode, shorter episode, uh, bite-sized reviews. And I have three, uh, I would say cheapies because these are really inexpensive. Uh, on most people's budget, this is gonna be really pocket-friendly if you're a fragrance lover. I'm gonna be looking at Charlie as well as Brood today. This is gonna be a fun day. Uh, these are episodes that makes me always happy. I'll tell you the reason. So let's start with Brood. And you guys know uh, from the title, we're going to be looking at this one right here, okay? EDT. Hold on, I have to bring one bottle, I totally forgot. Yeah, sorry, I actually had a lot of things around uh, me, like surrounding this fragrance review. I want to show you as examples and um, just to give you uh, comparison so you have a better idea. So this fragrance, like Brute, if you know the name, it's a classic. It's a straight up OG name. If you do not know Brute, perhaps it's uh, before your time. It's a father's time or your elder brother or uncle uh, if you have been to malls usual malls they will have these fragrances body sprays everywhere so basically uh, before I covered this once uh, <laughs> I am missing the cap actually it's been like number of years brute original deodorant this is like the body spray I covered this in one of the episodes then I did cover long time ago I think this one uh, brute prestige for men this one this version is there but this is the prestige version they also have uh, kind of like a aftershave but I don't have that they have a lot of aftershave variants you know yellow color you know blue but today we'll be looking at this one so I ordered this recently because I <laughs> basically wanted to cover it you know as a reviewer it's it's a sort of hobby that I have I want to cover everything so here is the packaging I think it comes only in this one the box took some beating I'm sorry about that but it's very kind of classic green uh, almost uh, suede like packaging this EDT concentration, we'll talk about the performance and all that. Uh, basically, these are very inexpensive, four to five dollars overseas here. It's like six to seven dollars to get this perfume. If you look forward, I think you can find them locally a lot. The bottle is really nice. It is like this. This is classic barbershop style. And I really love this bottle and juice color. This is so classy. It reminds me sort of like a cowboy, you know, like in the ranch, uh, back in the days, Western movies and stuff like that. So classic especially this logo is all engraved very beautiful nice touches to the bottle i like the bottle the cap looks nice but it's very actually a light plastic cap and the sprayer is like this okay so basically it follows the suit for similar to uh, the <clears throat> aftershave if you do not know but this one comes with a spray and this is a more like a perfume version of that um aftershave so this people say this is their most favorite this is like a classic even though uh, this is like not a major brand, but people love this fragrance. So the atomizer is really tall. Let's spray this and talk about it. Uh, the distribution, it, right in the opening, it bursts out. So it does not sh like <clears throat> hit um, your target if you spray from far. So I would suggest like, spray from this much only. That will do. So yeah, I think we got enough. Let me just do one more. Okay. So this price tag, what you're supposed to expect, you know, you can pick it up also, no problem. So this is, I think... Uh, made in UK most probably yeah, it has a batch code and all that at the back okay um, the logo so how's this one so this fragrance is very well-known DNA for me I have smelled this for a very long time I have used in my early days school days I used uh, denim I used uh, like this kind of things you know like uh, tabak original this uh, good good old days even recent times I covered blue stratos in a similar ballpark but this is beastly something like cool water in that family so these are inexpensive gems uh, i love inexpensive gems for a reason because these are budget people go to the mall and they don't have so much to spend they don't want to spend hundred dollars they just have five dollars ten dollars uh, this is well within under that price range and this is a fragrance anyone can buy if you're in fragrances you can buy and try so it definitely is a fougier like a barbershop has to have a fougier so there's gonna be lavender so that is the main player surrounding that there's some citrus I smell some oranges uh, basically they have lemon bergamot uh, mint yes you can smell the mint uh, there's some florals uh, I think ylang ylang and then the sandalwood uh, I can see vetiver oak moss tonka bean vanilla tonka you know like two kinds of tonka bean I guess yeah so basically this fragrance is kind of sweet kind of powdery, uh, kind of spicy, lemony, citrusy experience is very pleasant. And I think most of people say this is their most favorite version, even over this one. This is another brood, but people like the smell of it because it's most wearable and most modern. And it's 
less dated. So the performance on this is not really something to brag about. I tried, trust me, I tried numerous sprays. This whole chunk is missing just by testing. Um, the performance is pretty uh, <laughs> bad. One hour and one hour, one hour, uh, one hour and a half. Like you're looking towards like something like EDC. So it's not really EDT, but it's more like EDC fashion. Something in line of 4711 Cologne, but a little bit better performer. Projection very very moderate, not really messy projector. But I would suggest if you're looking to wear something, let's say you just woke up in the lazy uh, Friday, so which is a weekend here, or you are in a weekend, and you know you just not not much activity is happening. You know you're just gonna go out. You know just wearing your denim jeans, put on a white t-shirt. You can afford to get it dirty. You can go with a tractor, <laughs> you know, like or you cutting like wood logs and stuff. This is a fragrance that would be very masculine. You know, very masculine manly pleasant the citrusy aroma very nice i just only wish this fragrance had performance even if they charge me 20 bucks four times more i would pay for this dna it's such a rich dna and i'm not going to joke about it because the smell is so posh so this is a sentimental fragrance to me and many other scene like men's section in all over the world so overall this brute you know this uh, original edt uh, by perfumes prestige this fragrance is really nice for the smell i'm giving this like eight out of 10 but considering the performance everything actually it's um, not a fragrance i would recommend if you're looking to wear like let's say you're going for work okay and it's gonna cover half your day's work i won't recommend you this one just casual at home indoors like uh very casual you know and after after you do a shaving and all that you know you can just apply as a cologne so it's a collector's item basically it's not something i can say it will <laughs> cover your day's need but maybe decant some and then spray every one hour this fragrance is great so smell i'll just give it a mark for smell eight but if you're looking asking me how much actually it gets for the price i would give it like a seven out of ten okay uh the fragrance is pretty damn nice so i'm gonna use it once in a while um nothing serious just casual maybe sporty affair as well uh try it out okay thanks for watching guys and uh, time to move on to the charlie reviews which is going to be also interesting take care have a nice day Bye bye